Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to render the Tuborg battle. So if you are too lazy to model it, <laughs> I made a tutorial, there is two parts how to model it, but if you are too lazy I'm going to leave a links in the description of the video where you can download step by G's or some other uh, type of file that you can render here in the key shots. So let's get started. I'm going to import the bottle and let's see. I'm gonna use the the quality doesn't really have to be uh, big because the model is not having too too much. Uh, it's not too complex. So the size I'm gonna use keep original because if you put to automatic it's going to be really really small model and I think that's it import I need to pause the video until the import is done so here we have it let's let go I'm gonna expand this one okay first I'm going to add the glass a body. I'm gonna use this glass refractive gray or white. It's not. Uh, it it doesn't really matter because we are going to edit the color. Just use the refractive glass. And let's of course make a green. Dark dark green. No, not that much. Let's put three and five here and make this less. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this at this moment. Maybe we will add it to the color later. And let's make bigger refraction uh, 175. Okay. So we got that. Let's finish the cap material and so I'm going to use hmm, not sure what let's try with a rubber mm, plastic hard soft rubber and let's first put it here Okay, roughness, let's make it as less as possible, 0 0.01 uh, zero 0.005 zero 0 0.25, something like that and of course the color is going to be green but this time a uh, darker green something like that let's make it darker even more and make a refraction 1.6 well you don't have to do everything as I did I'm just showing some how would I do it? Next is should this be black or green? Or th this is yeah, this is green already. <laughs> Let's add rubber to a white. And the same thing here, 0 0.0025. Uh, 0 0.5. What was the number here? 0 0.0025. 2 so same here okay and leave it black let's zoom in here because we have this one small section which should be something like metallic and again add the rubber on it and of course make it white and here of course for the roughness are the zeros no this shouldn't be white this should be something like metallic 
more metallic. Okay. Refraction 1.6 and let's see how I did it here. 1.6. Okay, 1. Point. Oops. 1.55 and hmm, I'm missing some detail. Uh, okay, let's go to this one and samples. I'm gonna use 16. Okay, now we can add some decals. As I as I said, I have prepared some decals because it was really, really too hard to find some uh, Tuborg decals on the internet. 16 by 9, okay. And if you like these decals, I'm going to use uh, switch camera to front view. If you like the one I'm using, you can download it. I think I'm going to upload the those decals on my Facebook page or site. Just just go to video description and you will find it. So let's go edit glass and refraction. Okay, color and we are adding the label. Okay, it's same like decal. So. Here it is. I <laughs> I was using Photoshop to cut this one out from this. I think it was it was some bottle also maybe this one. And as I am not really I'm really beginner with a Photoshop, so I hope that this can be useful for you. If you can do it better for yourself, then even better. Come on, so depth should be uh, big. Make it really big, it's not really important. It's, it's important to be all the way on the bubble and the scale, let's scale it down, of course. So, zero, 07. Zero 075. 071 yeah something like that now let's edit the position just a little bit and mm, too much something like this and now the po important thing about this decal is to go to scale expand this one and go to y axis and make it 75 for example and you see it really looks look uh, a little a little better let's try position it the these edges are not really perfect as i can see <laughs> okay I guess that this is not going to be perfect whatever I do but when you zoom out it's gonna be almost <laughs> so one more um, this is one tip I am giving you right now if you don't know and it's called no turn off the two sided of course we don't want it on back and it's a uh, you see the decal is okay but it's not really realistic so what is going to make you realistic is this color here specular should be white remember that for every of your decal in any of your rendering and of course it's gonna be something like 1.1 1 1.2 1 but just look at when you put to, to black and when you put to white. So let's make it 1.25. You'll see later how it looks like under different reflection. 
and switch camera to top no not the bottom top okay edit this material and let's add the label for the cap uh, it should be this one I have also cut this one out from some image I guess scale let's make deep big and scale down again so something like 0, 2 and not two sided go to white and this one is going to be 1.2 for the refraction 1.15 something like that and let's just edit the scale and position 0, 18 something like that and no bigger and position let's see how it looks like from the side view sort of it doesn't look bad Okay, and there is one also decal left, so I'll switch to front view again. And I'm gonna save this file because my PC may crash during this tutorial. Tutorial. So, beer. And again, one decal here. Uh, it as I said, all of these are going to be uploaded somewhere. So this one is JPEG and this one is PNG. Let's use this one. And it should be somewhere around here. Okay, we can edit position later. And of course, make depth as bigger as possible. Uh, not two-sided and of course white and refraction 1.25 or less however you want just make it just don't make it too big uh, angle around 20 degrees minus 20 degrees and now let's go with the scale so something like 0 65 maybe 16 8 okay let's edit position and of course now okay let's make it 0 7 and important thing is to scale it on y axis because I didn't make it really, really well so one or even more yeah. so this is looking more like the real one 1.1 and 1.71 ok this is too much <laughs> just one okay position just a little bit more to left no not down nah even <laughs> sorry for this one mm. Who cares? Okay, <laughs> just do it as you like. So uh, there is one more thing left, but we're going to do it at the end. So shall I do everything here? Yeah. Okay, let's try uh, edit the environment to see what we can achieve. 
so go to environment of course let's try interior and of course I'm not going to use it I'm going to use it but in different style go to color and you can here play with the colors from white to red from red, red to to yellow orange green but I like uh, dark metallic and with this reflection it doesn't really look real because the environment is gray or something like that metallic and you see the environment is more like a restaurant or something like that let's try some other no way outside okay this one is giving a perfect uh, reflection but keep in mind that this bottle is not going to be somewhere in the nature it's going to be something like a restaurant as I said my PC <laughs> is really working on the edge of his desk okay it's terrible three panels okay this is what I'm talking about some nice reflection let's see about the height so as you can see as you change the height reflection uh, change the form so let's try different environment to see how it's going to affect reflection and so and the color of the model okay this may seems to be interesting yeah yeah but no <laughs> let's go to some other okay quite similar all the time okay this is interesting It's all up to you. I'm going to try to some to find some image on internet to see just to show you how you can add reflection from the image. So, mm, pop HD. And let's find some. Hmm. I know what I'm looking for, just it's not easy to find always. <laughs> Let's try this image. So this is just playing, I just want to see how it's going to look like. And of course, edit HDRI. And add image pin or add copy pin. Gen add pin. No. Add image pin. It's gonna take some time on my PC. So desktop. And open with the height let's make it as bigger as possible as you can see it already shows reflection from the from the image let's see what we can do um, fall off No. Okay, brightness we will we will adjust it later. And right now let's edit the this to backplate image. Desktop and the add this one. Wow. 
<laughs> oh, this is looking okay. Let's try it like this. No, let's let's make it here <laughs> in the in the middle and make it bigger. Something like this. And rotation blah blah. <laughs> it looks awesome. And as you can see, of course the image is that doesn't really look perfect and realistic, but it's interesting to see how it looks like and rotation I'm not sure about it it should be something like zero and we are affected with the with the environment we added previously let's try out uh, on the different and to s let's see is it going to affect the backplate image and so okay it's hmm uh, let's discard uh -huh. okay we need some environments without uh, too much the of these reflections no shadow where the hell is it materials okay this is cool and now go to edit ADRI add image pin and make it as bigger as possible and fall off less so something like that and okay this looks cool let's try, let's try play with some settings here go to camera effects you have to blow this mm, bottle a little bit i suggest you to do it in a photoshop but with adding this here you can do it here also so it's a really really big difference between these two and you will have to use Photoshop after rendering I'm sure and let's see what we can do also uh, strength okay not so much um, environment now reflections yeah it doesn't show you you see if you add a reflection it's going to reflect it on the wrong on the wrong place so turn it off adjust brightness mm, no way and one thing uh, is left show you and let's try do what I wanted to see is there any way to add the water drops so bump mm, let's load a bump here I'm having some water drops and I'm not really happy how these images are looking like I'm just gonna I'm gonna try this one So it's up to you to decide do you want to add the water drops and of course I'm gonna make the skill less and as you can see it doesn't really make it doesn't really make the bottle more interesting it looks like <laughs> terrible so let's uh, turn off the bump and try with the label and 
try let's try again this one put it anywhere and go to repeat uh, two sided no uh, white and deep 10,000 Refraction 1.3 Contrast Intensity Let's see, make intensity less And the scale of course less And again as you can see the water drops are looking terrible Well, I think that this was everything for today. Global illumination, you want to use it in a rendering definitely if you want to make it look better. And no, 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 okay, scene. Did I forgot something to mention? Hope I'm not. Also, play with the materials if you don't like the final result also play with our environment contrast brightness blah blah no way mm, yes. so that was everything for today <laughs> I'm playing here and thanks guys for watching see you in my next one